aesthetic notes, aesthetic houses, aesthetic skies, aesthetic bedrooms. However, these are all photos I found on Google. So the only somewhat aesthetic thing that I can kinda do is in a video game. So since I have an unhealthy addiction to Roblox Bloxburg, I thought I'd share some tips to building an aesthetic Bloxburg house. And if you join my Discord server, link in the description, which is also aesthetic by the way, I can give you some personalized tips. If you wanna see more Bloxburg videos like this one, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So for the structure of a house, don't make your house huge, especially if you're on a budget because there's a lot to decorate. So I'm just gonna make a bedroom. So the next thing I'm gonna add are pillars and wall trims. I like to add these like not super thick ones, but I don't like to use these like absolute thin ones because you literally cannot see them from the inside. And make the pillars and the wall trims a consistent color and material. So I'm just gonna go with white and plastic, but another thing I like to use are planks, or plywood. So to make your wall not look too bland, I wouldn't use these super tiny wall trims. I usually like to use these medium baseboards. And for the top, I would use these thick ones or this one right here. For today, I'm gonna use the thick ones because we're thick queen. So as you can see, the walls aren't as plain anymore even though they're not even colored or anything. I literally just added pillars and wall trims. The layout aesthetic houses aren't really suitable for big open concept spaces. Modern houses are good for that, which is why I told you not to make your house extremely big because you're gonna have that problem. So for furniture, use anything but modern and contemporary items like these. Because you have this gable roof here, it kind of looks like you're mixing and matching because you have this modern door, modern window, modern bed, modern light. So it doesn't really make sense. So now that I told you what not to use, what should you use? And if you're wondering why these are out here, they just don't fit my bedroom. So yeah. We're not really trying to go realistic here. We're trying to go detailed. So you need to add a lot of decoration and a lot of detail, like, Lot. Add curtains, plants, uh, paintings, post-its, carpets, shelves, a book, stools, everything needs to be added. These items don't usually cost a lot. It's the modern contemporary items that cost the most. So you would think that this build wouldn't cost a lot, but in reality, you have to add a lot of detail into your build so it's not gonna be cheap either. And if you can't afford a lot of decorations because you're on a budget, that's okay. I have a little trick up my sleeve that's going to help you look like your house is filled with detail, so stay tuned. Fence placing is highly recommended for builds like this because a lot of these are using advanced placing like this right here, putting these two plants super close to each other. Um, stuff like this, like most of these do need advanced placing. I'm sure you can work something out without advanced placing, but this is highly recommended. Plants are a great way to fill up your spaces. I have like five plants in this bedroom here right now. Now this is no one hour build, but I think this is good enough and a detailed enough with bed, paintings, a lot of cores, lighting, post-its, plants, more paintings, um, the dresser, ottomans, more plants, um, shelves, photos, you know, just everything to fill up your room. Do not ever use bright neon green, neon pink. Try to go for neutral and pastel colors. I'm so sorry to interrupt your amazing watching experience, but you can donate Robux using the first link in the description to get a chance to be next week's shout out. Or you can like the video, subscribe to my channel and comment down below aesthetic for another chance to make sure you do both ways and on the video. And if you're not exactly sure what colors to use, you can always watch this video right here that's going to give you a bunch of color scheme ideas. And if you can't add a whole bunch of detail to your house because you're on a budget, you can add complex materials and complex materials as in like wood, plate, 
planks. Cobblestone is also a great material. You know, that kind of stuff because they have lines on them and makes your house look a little more detailed and complicated. But if you have filled walls and complicated materials, it might look a little too much and overwhelming. So, you know, just try with different things and see what works well with your build. And you can use these materials on carpets, wall, wall trims, flooring, furniture, anything to make your house look a little more detailed. So I'm going for a more neutral tone. So for lighting, use colors like beige, lemon, and oyster. Lemon to me is a little too warm and a little too dark. So I usually like to go for beige, but you know, see what works for you. For everything that's black, I usually like to turn it white because it gives more of that aesthetic light pastel color vibe. Even if you're not going for a pastel color scheme, even like neutral color scheme works well with that as well. So for walls, don't make every single wall a different color. Add some accent walls and stuff like that just so it doesn't look too bland. So here I just use a plastic and a cobblestone and it looks great to me. It's such a great match. So I just kind of finished this section of the build and you can see how cute this is. Like this is exactly what I'm trying to go for. Can you see the difference? Like look how bright these colors are and look at how these colors just like match and oh my gosh, chef's kiss. I usually like to change my window frames to white even though this is close to white, it's not white enough. So I just finished painting the whole, this section. Oh my gosh, hello, do you see the difference? Just turns you from a noob to a pro. So this is the bedroom all complete. I'll change the paintings later and oh my gosh, so aesthetic, like literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. By the way, if you wanna see these cute backyards, these are also backyards that I'm obsessed with. Like I'm like obsessed with all my builds. I'm so self-centered. But if you do wanna see these builds, you can watch this video right over here. So for paintings, I like to search for boho. They're usually super cute. And the color schemes are just so nice, exactly what I'm looking for. See, every single time I have to click free images and then search for what I wanna search. That's so annoying. Oh no, never mind, I'm not in love. This kind of sucks. Okay, I'm gonna go change. Pretend you didn't see that. So here's a tour. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And the outside, it just, you know it's something that you'll love. Oh my gosh, like I'm in love. Everything is so well detailed because that's the whole point of aesthetic. Do you just, do you see this? Like, I don't, I think I'm never gonna delete this plot. Like, so I hope this helped you on being an amazing aesthetic builder. If it did, you can watch this video right here to make more money so you can actually build the houses or you can click down there for a bunch of my blocks for speed builds. And yeah, click the red button down below to subscribe. And thanks for watching.